Good morning, everyone. My name is Fran Romeo, and I am standing in for Mary today because Mary didn't feel very well this morning. Today, our speaker will be and is Terry Tomlinson. Um, she's going to be talking about eliminating inflammation. Uh, Dr. Terry Tomlinson, MD, MH, CNHP, and she can explain what all those mean has been studying natural health for more than 40 years. She has she is a board certified neuro, neuropathic doctor, master herbalist, certified natural health professional, certified weight loss coach, and a chi, cha, tai chi, oh, tai chi master trainer. She's presented a higher achievement award for naturopathic doctors by the American Naturopathic Medical Association in September of 2014. The word doctor comes from the Latin word dottery, which means to teach. And Terry definitely does teach and is focused on teaching and sharing a holistic ap approach to maintaining your wellness with an emphasis on an aging and disease, sorry guys, but I don't know uh, and disease prevention. She believes that physical health is primarily a reflection of God's universal law of cause and effect. How we care for our minds and bodies is both a physical and spiritual issue that impacts our health and the health of our offspring. I'm happy to introduce Mary's and my friend, Terry Tomlinson. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can you hear that good? How about now? Yeah. Good. Okay. So thank you all for coming. I'm super excited to talk about my favorite subject, natural health, and share with you some information. Uh, actually today, uh, inflammation is one of my favorite subjects because it it pertains to everything specifically in anti-aging. Uh, but today we're going to talk about how to stock a natural medicine cabinet. In other words, things that you could have on hand uh, when you run into situations. And so we're going to get started right away. Uh, we always have to have a disclaimer when it comes to natural health. And that is that uh, anything that I'm going to share with you uh, has not been uh, reviewed by the Food and Drug Administration, so it's not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. And uh, the information for the seminar is for educational purposes, and you guys can read the rest. So the first herb I'm going to talk about that we could have in the medicine uh, cabinet at home is called capsicum. And capsicum is considered the king of herbs because it provides digestive and circulatory uh, support. Uh, it actually helps overall circulation. And I know in our family, uh, we use capsicum for lots of different reasons uh, because it could help with nerve pain. You actually can mix it with an herb called lobelia, which is a nerve bean, and do massage with it. Um, it helps with nerve pain from diabetes, uh, post-surgical uh, pain, psoriasis, fibromyalgia, shingles, lots of people running into shingles these days. My personal opinion, because they're getting the shingles shot. Uh, but anyway, arthritis pain. So capsicum is really amazing. And I will tell you guys a little tip on capsicum. When you put it in your body, because capsicum is a, a cayenne pepper, that's what it is. So it's encapsulated. And when you take it in your body, when it starts to open, you feel a little bit of a burn to it. If you know that your body naturally it numbs itself out, then you don't think anything of it. But if you don't know that, then you think it's giving you indigestion. When the exact opposite is what happens. Internally, um, it's been well known to possibly stop a heart attack in action, stop uh, excess bleeding in the body. Many, many stories about that. Um, it has a warming strength to it and it stimulates your digestion and your blood flow. So it's added to lots of um, herbal formulas for a catalyst to kind of move it through your body. All right, the next one is Silver Shield. How many of y'all have heard of silver? And there's 
stories on the internet, I'm just going to have to tell you right now, you cannot go to Google anymore for practically anything because if somebody writes something like some sort of a negative, um, usually for marketing, and somebody else thinks that sounds good, they copy and paste it over, the next thing you know, it begins to look like it's true. We have used Silver Shield in our family for ever. And um, literally, the minute that anybody sniffled, and we're talking from our babies on up, I have five grandchildren ranging from currently three to going on 19 years of age, and not one of those five children have ever had a sick visit to their pediatrician in their entire life, and they've never had an allopathic medication in their body. But if they get a little runny nose, they line up for uh, shots of silver to eliminate that because it's like antibiotic, antiviral, anti, um, um, viral, bacterial, what's the other one? Okay, it's all of a sudden. And literally, we'll dry it up right away. So when our kids started teething from little, um, we would stop all of that nonsense, which is the reason they never sat with a lot of congestion, okay? Um, it's a product that you can sanitize with, it's non-toxic, it cleans, it purifies, and literally, <clears throat> the particular brand, um, these particular pictures are the brand that I've used for 45 years. Um, this particular brand breaks it down into um, nanoparticles that are so absorbable, and, um, and it does not damage the immune system. It's not going to kill the friendly bacteria. So all the way around, I'm a huge fan of silver. And uh, then we've got a gel. A gel could be used topically for a lot of things, everything from bug bites to any kind of a bacterial type of infection. Uh, let's see here, it also cleans and purifies and moisturizes skin, non-toxic, great product, we love having that. And then we've got Rescue. Rescue um, is a hydrogel used uh, in wound care management. And um, it's going to literally uh, take care of some compromised uh, organisms and uh, fungi, including, you can see a list here, one of the interesting things is how silver and minerals can be helpful for MRSA when it can't be cured in hospital. So MRSA is a big issue these days, as y'all know, we've all heard that word of a wound that just won't heal. And so the Silver Shield can be topical and in, in, um, internally the liquid. Um, and then it says how it's manufactured with an aquasol technology, meaning when you buy it at the store and there's some good silver out there, it's about 10 parts per million. This one is 20 parts per million, which makes it even more absorbable in the body. High potency garlic. I just have to tell you, I mean, when we think of garlic, I don't know about you guys, but you know, you think of uh, Dracula and the whole garlic thing. Who knew how important garlic is in the body? Garlic is so medicinal and so naturally antibiotic, antiviral, antifungal, that anytime there's anything upper respiratory, garlic is my go-to, 100% go-to. In the case of this company, the high potency garlic has a like a chlorophyll uh, encircling it so that you don't smell too Italian. Um, <laughs> down below, I have a garlic oil that I threw up there because that's what we do with our babies. And I mean from birth. If that baby starts teething at three months old and that nose is running, we will prick that, pour it right in their mouth. Every one of my kids will chew up garlic. They're so used to that flavor from birth. But here's something interesting. I used to own salon and day spa. I did here for 32 years of my life and uh, owned salons for 18 years. And um, in, in my training through the years, because I tell people all the time, when it comes to getting help for your body, you have to be your own advocate. And you have to look at whoever you're choosing to listen to at their tool. Because one girl recently told me the most amazing thing is that her husband is a high-end surgeon. His tools are scalpels. Therefore, when you go to him, his solution is what he knows, okay? So in the salon, I had a client who came in and she was like, Terry, do the chemicals penetrate the scalp? And I'm like, I've taught this. 
if it did, you'd be dead. Okay, so this is kind of stuff I would say. Until I got into natural health, and you prick that little garlic oil, and you rub it on the baby's foot, in a little soft spot, little baby, in, in less than 30 seconds, that baby will smack its, its lips because it can taste it. It runs right through the bloodstream. So every time I tell these people they weren't smart because I knew all this stuff that I was taught, and then in one minute I had a whole different <laughs> lease on life, if you will. So interesting stuff. Charcoal. Oh my gosh, have we used charcoal through the years? I tell a story about my daughter. Uh, she's my horsey girl. She uh, is a gold medalist, a silver medalist, a bronze medalist, a diamond, blah, 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 and has number three horse in the nation currently with dressage. And um, when she had the opportunity to really get into her first barn situation, um, she was loving shoveling manure, I suppose, to, <laughs> and in the hot sun in August, and she lost a lot of weight on this job. And so she uh, lived out in Kissimmee, and they had chickens. And she brought eggs in, in, you know, like at three in the afternoon on a hot day. That's probably related a week ago, you know. But anyway, she began throwing up. And so she calls me, and she goes, Mama, she goes, I'm in the hospital. And I go, what? She goes, yeah, my company, you know, made me come over here. And um, there's a doctor, and he wants to do all this stuff. And she goes, but I told them. You can't do anything until my mom gets here. And so I'm like, okay, well, what do you think the problem is? And she goes, I think I have food poisoning because I ate these eggs out of the hot sun. If you think you have food poisoning, you probably do. But they're going to test her for AIDS and God knows what. So I said, okay. I said, I'm on my way. So I grab a, a gallon of distilled water and a bottle of activated charcoal. And I go to the hospital in Kissimmee. She's sitting in the style of the bed, waiting for me, and I walk in, and we have a conversation, and I'm convinced it probably is food uh, poisoning, but, you know, like, I'm not the boss of the world. I don't know any more than that doctor I know. So I said, okay, well, we'll check you out. We'll go, you know, do what I know to do, and then we'll see what happens. They weren't going to let her leave. And so I was like, okay, let's be clear. <laughs> We're leaving, whether you check us out or not, but I'd like you to check us out. And the doctor gave me all kind of scary scenarios of you know what was going to happen. I said, well, you know, I love my daughter. I will certainly bring her back. She's about 22 years old. And um, but we're going to go try to solve this. So we go home. I open eight capsules of charcoal in distilled water. She drinks it immediately, throws it up. I open eight more distilled water. She drinks it, throws up. Of course, had left in her belly. So we went through this routine until she finally drank it and nothing. Then she drank some water plain and nothing. And then she says, I am starving. So we go to a restaurant. I'm going to suggest maybe a soft uh, egg over easy or something. No, no. Steak, mashed potatoes, broccoli. I said, Kirsten, honey, you can't eat something like that right now. Mom, I'm starving. I eat every drop of it. End of story. Okay, so <clears throat> charcoal, it says here, we use it for vomiting, food poisoning, diarrhea, gas, hangover. My daughter's um, fiance in college came in after a, a big night uh, to our house, and he, it was actually Easter Sunday, <laughs> and he was like, he's honest to goodness, I, I, I just can't. And same routine. And he, to this day, to this day, he has that activated charcoal if necessary. So, if you know, Little things to know. Distress remedy. Distress remedy is part of the uh, Bach flower recipes. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but uh, Bach is the gentleman who began to notice, and it's interesting to me to think about it. Like if you, if you were in a field of lavender or daisies or anything, that emotional feeling you get, okay? Well, he discovered that cold pressing, the flowers uh, create, um, uh, uh, calming and fixative things in the body when it comes to emotional distress. So this particular product, again, was a company that I've used for so many years, and, and there's others out there. But this is called Stress Remedy. And the thing about Bach Flower Remedies are you don't just get one. 
you get several models. It's, it's about a few different combinations, and there's, there's books on the combinations. So what I love about this is you can see the combinations are already put together for you in one bottle. Um, my son takes three different bottle flower remedies. Um, he's got a high power 90 hour job traveling all over the country with three little babies trying to be present when he steps in the door. They're all <laughs> speaking some other language to him. And um, so he uses three different ones. Well, the stress remedy contains, uh, if you've heard of Arnica and various um, uh, remedies that are from box flower. So love the box flower. I just love natural health. I could go on and on. Okay, Thai food oil invigorates the mind. It stimulates your respiratory system. It's cleansing, refreshing. It contains mood enhancing scents. Uh, literally, this little bottle you could have it for till the cows come home. Uh, tiny little drops in your temple will lift the mood. Uh, will kind of clear your head and your thinking. Uh, wonderful product. The tea tree oil, I'm sure some of you have heard of tea tree oil. Stories from way back when, um, skin cancers. Uh, we use it actually, we can't use a lot of it on animals, but we use the tea tree oil on dogs, not kitties, but dogs. Um, my horsey girl had a dog grooming and daycare facility. And um, so uh, it invigorates the stores. It can be used topically for cleansing. Uh, it's a, a known as the wonder from down under, the tea, uh, tea tree oil. Uh, the actual tree is a Melaleuca uh, tree. And y'all probably heard of Melaleuca. They had a whole company that was based on tea tree oil, the shampoos and so forth. When you have tea tree oil, the essential oil, you can put it in cosmetic products that you already have. Just only need a few drops and you can diffuse it and all the things you can do with essential oil. Stomach comfort has natural ingredients to nutritionally support digestion. Uh, it's pH balanced, meaning it's gonna put the alkaline back in a, it, it's a calcium. It goes back into the stomach, really helps maintain the mucus lining of the esophagus. It has slippery elm. I love herbal combinations. Instead of taking 10 different things, I like it when they're combined. Uh, so this is a combination of ginger root, which we already know is great for digestion, ginger tea, um, papaya fruit, oh my gosh, when I was pregnant the first time, <laughs> I went to a health food store and I bought concentrated papaya juice. But I'm not a smart girl. Like when I was young, when I was pregnant the first time, I was 19 years old. So I have this quart of papaya juice and you mix it with like eight times the amount, okay? So smart people would maybe take an eight ounce glass and they put one ounce of papaya and fill it up with water. No, no, I took out every single piece of Tupperware that I ever got at my wedding, every container I could find. And I had my entire refrigerator with papaya juice. It really was. My husband came home and was like, what? Yeah, this will help with it because I, I had such indigestion, you know, in the early years of the, or early months of the pregnancy. Um, but anyway, stomach comfort would have been a way to roll with that. I could have taken that. <laughs> it would have helped a lot. I didn't know those things back in the day. Everybody's heard, I would think, of echinacea. Echinacea boosts the immune system. Uh, interesting thing to understand about herbs. There, if you were gonna boost your immune system, you could use echinacea, that's well known. You could use elderberry, that's well known. You could use catspaw, you could use um, uh, parthenia because plants grow all over the world. And one of the reasons why uh, it's always advised when you're eating food to eat local. You know, your honey, if you can get it local, uh, there's a reason for that because it, the local is going to affect what is affecting you locally as well, okay? So echinacea is wonderful. Echinacea golden seal, of course, is in our medicine cabinet. Uh, golden seal is also a natural antibiotic antifungal, antiviral, and, um, but always cautionary with pregnant women. Um, and then there's probably some health cautions on that long term, because it can lower blood sugar, long term. So, but when you tell somebody that, then they're like, oh my gosh, I can't take it because my blood sugar's back. No, long term. You can always take this product. Uh, the liquid tinctures we always have on hand because we've always had littles. And when my um, 
little grandchildren um, become runny nose or not feeling well. My son lines all three of them up. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen because he was raised in natural health, so he just has eyedroppers. And they all are like birds. He's, he puts silver, he puts gold to Asia. There's a, another picture called VH-C, which is a viral combination. Works that in. I mean, it's a, and they love it. And so like one time they were spending night, which they do typically every Friday night. And uh, the oldest one, I said, why are, why are you coughing? And she goes, and so I went and got some silver. They line up. If one coughs, everybody needs it. You don't even have to ask them. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, great combination. Uh, Bifidophilus flora fours. I want to tell you about another probiotic, but this is the one that I used for Lord knows 35 years until I found one that I feel trumped in. This is still a great product. And sometimes I like to keep things in the same company. Well, not sometimes, I do like to do that. Uh, and I'll tell you why. But it improves the immune system. Here's the thing you have to know and understand. Your immune system is made up of 80% friendly bacteria. 80%. And if you're on medication, you're destroying that friendly bacteria. You have to fix it. Because as we age, and we begin to realize we're not sleeping like we used to, our balance is off. It is because the neurotransmitters are developed in the gut. You've heard them refer to your gut as your second brain. Because your serotonin, your dopamine, all of these things are developed in your gut. And so <clears throat> the friendly bacteria is how you keep the bad bacteria out of body. Friendly is going to destroy bad. But when you take an antibiotic, it can't differentiate. It's going to wipe out the whole, the whole deal. So if you've had to go on an antibiotic, which we have to do, we have to do when we have to do it, then you better be doubling and tripling up on the probiotic, which is the reason that I have five grandchildren. My oldest grandson is six foot ten, plays for the village's charter school. He's in the paper every week. He just signed with Alabama. We're super excited. <laughs> he uh, was MVP for the uh, All-Star Game. He took the Villages Charter School to the, um, the state competition, first time they've ever been. They won district. They won regional. That kid has never had a sick visit in his entire life. And when I compare him to the kids he grew up with, with all sorts of bandages on their knees, and you figure how he has never stopped growing since the day he was born, it's pretty phenomenal that he hasn't had any of these things. Now, knock on wood, he's getting ready to leave home and make his own decision. So we don't know what to say, but we got him here. He is six weeks away from college. <laughs> and then you're on your own, dude. So, um, this particular product provides 4 billion beneficial microorganisms per capsule. And the one I'm going to show you later, 85% uh, gets in the gut because what I've learned since the years of this one, which we, we've eaten since forever, um, is only 4% makes it through the digestive acids. Only 4%. My other product, 85% gets in. Big difference. That's why I love it. And I'll show it to you. All right, vitamin C supports the immune system, protects against free radical damage. It aids in collagen production. I'm going to talk a lot about collagen at the end of this because I am a huge fan of collagen. It uh, provides a thousand meds of vitamin C in its kind release. Vitamin C, you can never go wrong. You can't overdo it. When I was working on my wellness back in the day, I was taking 7,000 units of vitamin C a day, washes out of the body can't hurt, didn't hurt, I'm still here, and I'm better for it, okay? And as you can see, it performs many functions involved in the immune system, tissue development. Uh, it's involved in iron absorption, synthesis of enzymes, hormones, protein. The adrenal gland through large amounts of this nutrient will support immunity and help produce energy, and on and on and on. It produces collagen. It's just vitamin C is good food. Aloe vera gel. Aloe vera gel 
very good for it. Y'all would think of it probably for sunburn, but any skin issues. Um, aloe vera is just amazing, healing properties. And the uh, whole leaf liquid, oh my gosh, I'm such a fan of it. If you ever have any kind of a digestive thing, take two ounces of aloe vera, drink that stuff down. It will, it will coat the stomach lining. You have a tube from your throat to the exit point that is 30 feet long. And when you feel any kind of reflux, if that happens, it is because the food is going down, it's not breaking down, you don't have the enzymes rolling to break it down, it's coming back up, and when it hits the esophagus, that's where your nerve endings are. And so the treatment, if you go to a doctor, is to put a Band-Aid on it. How about we fix it, fix the problem? Aloe vera will fix it. More than that, start thinking seriously about the food you're putting in your body and how it's not breaking down and how it's as if you put a lid on a trash can. It is sitting in that 30 foot tube and it is building up the most toxic gases that are then reabsorbed into your body. And then if you're feeling bad, now you know why. Okay? Let's see here. Urinary maintenance. Anybody that seems to lean towards urinary tract infections, this is the bomb. This product, I just can't even say enough about it. I had a girl that worked for me, <laughs> Becky, with big brown eyes. And Becky had urinary tract issues, and um, she goes to the doctor. Of course, they gave her an antibiotic. He isn't going to fix it. Why? Because it's going to kill the bacteria you need in the urinary tract, for heaven's sake. Because in your digestive tract are two-thirds of all your body parts. So you go kill the friendly bacteria, you can see how you're in a vicious cycle of imbalance of body. You just are. And you can't fix it. I know it for a fact. Live like that for way too many years. So I kept telling her about this product. Becky, you need to drink pure cranberry juice. You need to take this product. It'll fix it. As soon as she's off the antibiotic, you could go about two weeks starts getting that pressure, back to the doctor, another antibiotic. This went on for one year. Every time I say, Becky, I'm telling you, look, you're not getting better. You're not getting better, you're going from bad to worse. So finally she goes in, they want to do a biopsy because now she has suspicious cells. And she comes back and she goes, okay, witch doctor, mm -hmm. what do you got? So I go and I buy the pure cranberry, cold pressed, organic, cranberry, disgusting taste, okay, if you've ever eaten a cranberry. And again, a gallon of distilled water. And I come back and I had a little herb store in my salon and so I bust out the urinary maintenance and start out with four capsules to start to build it up. So she takes the capsule, she starts drinking the cranberry juice. Now mind you, I had a really busy salon. I had 10 hairdressers in there, full book. And Becky, nobody can help her because she's got a full book, but everybody else does too. So she starts getting diarrhea from it, right? Because her body's not used to this stuff. And uh, oh my gosh, I can still see her. She's doing hair. She's got big brown eyes. She's looking over her shoulder, glaring at me, throws down her scissors, runs to the bathroom, runs back, tries to finish the haircut. I'm pouring another glass of cranberry juice. Oh my gosh. But end of conversation. It 100% fixed it. That putting probiotic into the mix. She never went back to the doctor with it. She took this product as a maintenance, I want to say four or six years. But by, by then she really knew how to keep her body in balance. She didn't have to be taking it, but yeah, okay? Good stuff. All right, LIC, people with cold sores, canker sores, this is the first go-to, LIC. It's an amino acid, it strengthens circulation, it helps immune. Uh, it provides uh, 474 meds per capsule to support your structural system. But uh, the body does not make LIC, doesn't make it. So when a person, especially a person who is exposed to herpes and then for the rest of their life and they're under stress, they're gonna get that cold sore, this is a go-to. I can't tell you how many people through the years will call me to get this one product because they can feel one busting. If you start on it, the minute you feel a, a cold sore, you'll fix it right away with LIC. 
golden salve. Golden salve, great for diaper rash. Now, none of us have that problem anymore, praise <laughs> the Lord. But we do have grandchildren or grades that might need the help. Uh, so it's wonderful. But, you know, since they came out with the disposable diapers, you don't hear about that rash anymore. Because they get those babies stay dry. They do. So there's that. Uh, but it's an antiseptic healing uh, salve. We can use it for burns, for sores, for scratches, uh, for the moisture of your cuticle. It helps tissue heal more rapidly. Uh, you can use it for hemorrhoids. You can even use it if you were doing an antibiotic and needed something to lubricate the uh, end. And you can see all the cool stuff that's in it. Again, I love combinations because they really do. This stuff, uh, I would, it's just been a staple for, I mean, you just slap it on everything. It's just easy to see. LBS2, this is going to really roll with people that struggle with some constipation. You're not going to want it if you're uh, flowing with diarrhea. We're going to have to roll in a different direction. But with constipation, literally, it's amazing. And uh, very gentle. It does have cascara, if you're familiar with cascara sagrada, uh, which is a way stronger herb. Uh, the Indians really use cascara a lot. Um, you should never really need to be taking it for long periods of time, but it will 100%, you know, help you flow through and get everything cleaned up. And then you just have to look at your diet and have fiber in your diet. You just do. You bust out some oatmeal, some blueberries in it. You know, after a while you'll get that, that body flowing like it needs to flow. But again, uh, you're not going to be happy if you have diarrhea and you take this product. <laughs> it's not good. All right. Okay, now we're going to talk just briefly on prevention because uh, like you were asking, love with activating the body. The daily wellness is what I brought last time to sample. Um, it's still available, but it's a seasonal uh, product. They have it uh, as a regular product. It's an orange flavor, a little bit like orange juice. Uh, it was designed for viruses, literally. It has um, the zinc in it. It has uh, vitamin C, it has D, it has elderberry, and it has fermented nutritional yeast, which is a postbiotic, okay? Yeast not being the kind of yeast we talk about with candida in the body, yeast being really nutritional for your, your gut. Um, and it tastes like lemon ginger. Uh, in fact, I had a girl call me day before yesterday. Uh, she goes, I don't know if they still have it, but I need to buy three more cans because, I mean, it's my go-to every night before I go to bed. And I do the same thing. It's really yummy. Uh, this is the probiotic. This probiotic, you only take one capsule a day, which makes it easy. 85% gets in the gut because it has a delay, so it gets through the digestive acid. So that's where the big difference is. Um, love that product. It really has changed my life the last seven years. Omega-3, I can't stress enough how critical it is to oil the tin can. If you've got pain, Omega-3. Omega-3 is a precursor to cortisone in the body. We get tons of omega-6. We do not need a product that is 369. The problem is, as a lay person, you go to a healthy store, you know, it's kind of like if we see a product with 60 min uh, trace minerals, but the is only 70, 70 sounds better. It's the same thing with the omega. We go and look at a product, we go, I want 3, 6, and 9 because you see that, that sounds better than just three or seven or you know, something like that. But that's not the way it is. We're out of balance, like one to 25 on omegas. And I tell you, if you take omega three um, until this particular uh, fish oil, which fish oil will trump the plant base, which would be flaxseed oil. But until this product, I have taken a tablespoon of flaxseed oil every day uh, since before I hit menopause, which is probably a good 28 years ago, and so forth. Because once I understood it, and with my history of two broken necks, and she broke neck bone, and being run over by a car, <laughs> all that cool stuff, <laughs> uh, once I saw the benefits of it, and understand. Wherever you are, in your body, in your health, you didn't get here yesterday, you're not going to fix it in an hour. And sometimes we put a natural component in the body and the body reacts 
by releasing toxins into the bloodstream to cleanse and heal itself. We view that as, oh, no, no, I can't take that. It's making things worse. So we have to understand how the body cleanses and heals itself. And that's why if you don't have your immune system strong enough, you can start the cleansing process, but the body can't complete the healing. And that goes back to where you introduced me on inflammation, because inflammation is the link to every chronic degenerative disease, bar none. It is the link. And what it is, is inflammation is our body's natural first line of defense. You cut your finger, your brain gets a signal there's damage, it releases the tiny blood vessels that seep plasma into the area to eat up the damaged tissue. Problem is, once it eats up the damaged tissue, it should subside and your immune system should complete the healing. But the immune system is too weak, so the brain keeps getting the signal, keeps sending the inflammatory response, and now the body begins to fill up with inflammation. This is why you'll see a famous runner run out the door, drop dead of a heart attack, and you're like, oh my gosh, she stayed fit, she ate well, she probably had a hairline fracture, she was taught somewhere along the line, no pain, no gain, and she's ignoring it and ignoring it and ignoring it. Her body's not completing the healing, and her body continues to fill with inflammation. Now, it links to chronic diseases, diabetes, cancer, um, arthritis, any of the itises. You know, if I could break my upper back and be told that I would lay in traction three to four times a year the rest of my life, which I did 10 years, so I learned something new. If I could fall off a horse and break my lower back, five fractures in my sacrum, S1, S2, S3, S4, and in the center uh, fracture that was so severe. If I could be in a head off collision, flip a car eight times, hit the windshield, hit the windshield, hit the windshield, <laughs> and, and literally have plastic surgery on my head and, and have an arm that couldn't even couldn't even bend it for months and months and months. If I could go through all that and literally be here turning 74 next week, I accept gifts through the entire month of April. <laughs> um, turning 74, run the Disney half marathon, do 40 jumping jacks off the ground. Guys, the body is designed by God to heal itself, okay? Down there is the Omega. Over here is I see bright. I see bright. I was telling my husband the other day, I said, it's so funny to me, when I was young, I could not stand sunglasses on my eyes. I couldn't stand that. I don't know about you guys. It's because of the carotenoids, the yellow to the back of the eye protecting the macula. Okay? So as we age, everything slows down. This product was developed because it's going to put those carotenoids back in the eye noticeably. You'll feel the difference when you're in front of computers a lot on the blue light. You'll feel the difference in the sunshine. The more you take it, the more you build up this uh, carotenoid in the back of the eye to protect the macula. So these are preventative things that everybody could be doing. And then, now to my most favorite, these are the three activators in uh, this particular different from the first company. And these activators, particularly the bottom up in the center, that one product has seven patents on it. That one product has 32 independently peer-reviewed studies. That one product, I scream from the mountaintops, you should put that one tablet in your body every single day, bar none, because it will turn on over 600 enzymes that are slowed down in the body, number one, proven, it will uh, reduce your oxidative stress by 40% in one month. Oxidative stress is the rusting from the inside out, like when you bite into an apple and you see it turn brown. The oxygen is destroying cells in your body, and your body's ability to stop the destruction has weakened over the years. And this product in the center has been proven to 100% fix that problem. The uh, silver circle bottle, that one is going to ramp up your body's NRF1 um, mitochondria. Mitochondria is the energy storehouse 
every cell in your body. And then the white band that's all protandum, that one is called NAD. What that's going to do is wake up a family of proteins in every cell in your body called sirtuin. And they are going to pressure wash so your vascular system is greatly improved, the fog begins to lift, the energy is rising. They just got a patent on all three of these, a patent. Where in the world have you ever heard of natural product with a patent first, but secondly, three bottles at once? That's what's going on there. Personal favorite of mine, awesome stuff. And finally, my biggest personal favorite is the collagen with the NRF2. These two products, the reason is, I already told you what NRF2 does and all the science. When the liquid collagen came out, nobody had these activators. They have such a huge study, they're not releasing it because they're getting a patent on the two of these products together. Because in my study, after this product came out, most of you hear collagen everywhere. I never studied it. Why? I taught hair, skin, and nails for 32 years. I have zero interest in the cosmetic part of it. Okay, that is type 1, type 2 collagen. This is 10 strands. Now we're talking bone, joints, tissue. Collagen is the most prevalent protein in your body. It makes up 35% of the protein in your body and your eyes are 90% collagen. I freaked out when I read that. And I called my son who's over at the Ritter Eye Institute. I go, Chad, are your eyes 90% collagen? He goes, yeah, mom, why? How do I not know this? Like, I'm a girl that studies every day. I'm not even kidding him. I do. So, when you combine these, they discovered that the combination ramps up the NRF2 27%. We're talking 2,700 times more powerful. It also ramps up the um, catalase. The catalase is ramped up 202% because of the combination. So where I am a big fan of Vitality Stack, which I don't have up here uh, for balance, because I told it has the omega, it has the probiotic. I have shifted gears to this combination because the results are out of this world for preventing the aging, for slowing it down, for getting the body back to balance. Right. And with that, my friends, all I got for you today. Yes. Okay. On the garlic. Okay. Is the is the garlic that type of the garlic or the other the all the big um stronger than the garlic you use in the cooking? No. No, you know, cooking with garlic you're you're gonna get like the the lady sisters wrote a book when they were, and they were spinster sisters. Uh, they were 104, 105 years old. Their claim to living that long was that they would take a garlic clove, smash it between a little piece of bread, smash it and eat it for them better. Now, I take hypotensy garlic, it's a little tiny little tablet, every night before I go to bed, I do it. And, um, for a lot of reasons, remember the allergies, the asthma, all of that that I had going on, and garlic is great for circulatory, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I take it for convenience because peeling it and smashing it, eating it, and all that, I can take a little bit of that and throw it in my mouth. So. <laughs> and then the other question I've got is on the licorice juice that's in your salad comfort. Uh huh, licorice. I learned this week that licorice elevates your blood pressure. Well, so, but when you look at the combination, it no. should be no issue. Yeah, it should be no issue. I have no idea. Well, you know, here's the thing. When the body's out of balance, lots of things happen. It doesn't just elevate blood pressure as a rule. And liver shoot is awesome for people going through menopause and having hot flashes. It will fix the hot flashes. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
salad lamp. Sure. Okay, guys, we good? 